Now, if we talk about types of neurocognitive disorder, uh, DSM-5 has distinctively given um, a wide range of disorders. However, the main feature would be, of course, cognitive deficits. Um, this is the first neurocognitive. I'll just name and then describe them in more detail later on. Um, and neurocognitive disorder with Lewy bodies. Lewy bodies is actually the protein deposit within the brain. Brain ke hisson ke andar ya brain ke andar wo protein bodies ban jati hain. Aur jis ki wajah se um, of course cognitive uh, dis, jo problem hai wo ho jate hain depending on in which part of the brain they are being taken taken place. Um, and Lewy bodies actually are um, one of the main reasons of Parkinson's disease. Uh, then comes the vascular um, neurocognitive disorder, which are related to your vesc our vascular system, uh, blood circulation, and particularly if we see stroke is one of uh, the type uh, which comes under vascular uh, neurocognitive disorder, there might be other conditions which do affect. So when the diagnosis comes or the type uh, categorization of these disorders comes, then uh, actually we are looking into the types of the condition which is resulting in neurocognitive disorder. And the third one is frontotemporal neurocognitive disorders. Uh, any problem issue, uh, like maybe it's quite possible that uh, neuro, neuro, uh, brain ki degeneration is in the frontal area or temp temporal area, mein ho hai, uh, which they are actually very much related to higher mental processes. Uh, so, one type of is of frontotemporal neurocognitive disorder. Now, these cognitive disorders, your brain jo hai, uski localization is very important. Hai, ke which particular area of the brain is being affected? Because the brain, if you look at a psychology ke course, mein dekhte hai, uh, neurological basis of behavior, so you will see that different different brain ke jo areas are different functioning of the brain. And if there is a lesion, a lesion means that if there is damage or there is a degeneration, then that is why there is reversible or irreversible damages. Ho 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 ki wajah se brain ki cognitive functioning effect. Hoti hai. So here we are talking about um, the lesion or problem in frontotemporal um, area of brain and this type is known as frontotemporal neurocognitive disorders. Then is substance or medication induced neurocognitive disorder. Um, for instance, people under the effect of any drug, uh, if they are intoxicated, for example, in alcohol or heroin or any other uh, drug they, are, they have taken, so you might see that their neurocognitive functioning gets affected. Memory, concentration, focus, decision making, you know, all what we can, and, and new learning. So all this gets affected um, in, uh, under the, when they are under the effect of, or they are chronic substance abusers. Then um, under the effect of any medication, uh, chronic condition which potentially can uh, have this kind of effect on brain, which uh, then subsequently result in neurocognitive uh, disorders. Then there is Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease again is uh, uh, degeneration of brain cells with the, with the old age um, or aging process. Or usually ye, um, old age tak, uh, old age ki hi wajah se hota hai. Or is mein jo brain ki neural um, functioning hai wo low ho jati hai. Ya neurons ka decay hona shuru jata hai. Brain ke jo cells hai. Or uski wajah se um, different kisam ki cognitive deficits dekhne mein aate hai. Then there is traumatic brain injury. Uh, for instance, somebody had a road accident or somebody had a fall or had some industrial uh, accident. So, uh, it can be uh, closed head injury, it can be open head injury, but depending on the localization of the injury or which particular area of the brain it has affected would may result in neurocognitive disorders. Then is HIV um, infection, uh, which actually result into AIDS. Uh, so it has also been found that HIV infection ki wajah se bhi neurocognitive disorder um, ho sakte hain. So ye categorization jo dekh rahe hain, aap uh, hum dekh rahe hain iski neurocognitive disorders ki, which is associated with the uh, condition which results in neurocognitive disorders. 
then finally parkinson's disease parkinson disease is actually um, as i earlier said is uh, lewy bodies or parkinson disease ke andar ek aur jo hota hai wo ye ke uh, jo dopamine aapka neurotransmitter hai um, we know that brain has neurochemical uh, balance or there are lots of neurochemicals jo ke secrete hote hain jiski wajah se neurochemical uh, jo functioning hai brain ki wo Uh, होती है और मैसेजेस फ्रॉम वन न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर ट्रांसमिट होते हैं दूसरे में तो ये बड़े इंस्ट्रूमेंटल होते हैं आपके बैलेंस्ड ब्रेन की फंक्शनिंग के लिए तो न्यूरो डोपामेन जो है वो एक सर्टन एरिया ब्रेन के एरिया के अंदर स्पेसिफिकली अगर उसका इम्बेलेंस हो जाए बल्कि ये न्यूरो डोपामेन की जो एक्टिविटी जो न्यूरॉन्स डोपामेन बनाते हैं उनको ये इफेक्ट करते हैं और उसकी वजह से डिजनरेशन ब्रेन uh, की जो है वो होना शुरू हो जाती है एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स कॉग्नेटिव फंक्शनिंग गेट्स इफेक्टेड देन देर इज हंटिंगटन डिजीज देन देर इज अनदर मेडिकल अदर मेडिकल कंडीशन मे बी नॉट नेसेसरली द वन विच वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट मल्टीपल एटियोलॉजीज इट 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 डजेंट मीन के ओनली वन स्पेसिफिक कंडीशन इज समाइम इट्स क्वाइट कम्पलेक्स दैट देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ कंडीशन और इन इन कॉम्बिनेशन ये सारी की सारी कंडीशन जो हैं वो न्यूरो कोग्नेटिव डिसऑर्डर क्रिएट कर रही हैं बी इट बॉडीली कंडीशन और बी इट ब्रेन कंडीशन सो इसमें ये मल्टीपल एटियोलॉजी भी हो सकती हैं and then there are also disorders which are known as unspecified neurocognitive disorders jin mein specifically aap uski cause ko uh, cause jis tarah humne typology mein dekhi ke is 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 condition ki wajah se ho raha hai wo shayad baad dafa na ho lekin picture jo hai present ho rahi hai wo neurocognitive deficits pronounced neurocognitive deficits hain uh, so they that also has to be considered now we look into delirium um, which is which is actually uh, as we seen ke this begin with delirium and then other neurocognitive functioning ke jo effects hain wo dekhne mein aate hain so what is the diagnostic criteria of delirium how do we know what is delirium uh, now um, a criteria for delirium is a disturbance in attention and awareness it's actually a confused state uh, of mind <clears throat> uh, person is not able to attend or person is not seem to be aware of what's happening around them uh, the disturbance develops over a short period of time uh, usually hours to a few days matlab ek theek thak intact functioning individual lag raha hota hai ki wo cheeze bhul raha hai ya wo confuse ho raha hai ya uski you know awareness uski uski ird gird ki cheezon se uski samajh nahi aa rahi usko you know that would be reflected as a confused state of mind it represents a range from baseline um uh, sorry change from baseline baseline mean ke where the point, uh, person was uh, from cognitive point of view ke wo theek thak uski memory thi focus kar raha tha concentrate kar raha tha wo fully aware tha about his or her surroundings but achanak um, matlab wo few hours bhi ho sakte hain aur few days ke andar bhi uske andar ye achanak uske andar wo tabdili aa sakti hai and it tends to fluctuate इन सवेरिटी ड्यूरिंग अ कोर्स ऑफ अ डे मतलब बहुत ज्यादा दिनों की भी बात नहीं है बल्कि एक दिन में ही विद इन अ डे ही उसकी सिचुएशन जो है वो काफी मार्क्ड और फ्लक्चुएट कर सकती है एक्सट्रीम सवेरिटी की तरफ सी एंड एडिशनल डिस्टर्बेंस इन कॉग्निशन एक तो यह है कि उसकी कन्फ्यूज स्टेट आपको नजर आ रही है लेकिन उसके साथ साथ कॉग्निशन के अंदर भी डिस्टर्बेंस नजर आएगी एंड द डिस्टर्बेंस इन क्राइटीरिया ए and c are not better explained by an other neurocognitive disorder and in context of severely reduced level of arousal such as coma to iski jo condition hai usko aap dusri cognitive jo disorder ki jo humne neurocognitive disorder ki jo types dekhi hain uski wajah se nahi hai balki wo matlab wo to they have to follow delirium is already delirium is a beginning stage and the other conditions सवेरिटी uh, जो है उसकी डिटर्मिन होगी मेजर से माइनर तक और माइल्ड तक वो लेटर ऑन होगी एंड आल्सो इट्स नॉट कि वो कॉमा से उठा है मरीज जो था वो वेंटिलेटर पे था और कॉमा से निकला है नहीं ऐसा भी नहीं है सो इट हैज टू बी एक्चुअली डिमार्केटेड के द पेशेंट्स वो कम आउट ऑफ कॉमा फॉर 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 सम टाइम दे आर ऑन वेंटिलेटर और इन कॉमा एंड वेन दे विल वेक अप ऑफ कोर्स दे वुड बी शोन यू विल सी दम और समबडी वुड रियलाइज के दे आर इन कन्फ्यूज स्टेट 
but this has to be ruled out. E. The disturbance is a direct physiological, uh, physiological consequence of another medical condition. Its medical condition and substance intoxication or substance, uh, substance withdrawal. कि या तो सब्सटेंस एब्यूज इंटॉक्सिकेशन मीन अंडर द इफेक्ट ऑफ सब्सटेंस है या वो विद्रॉल फेज में है जब वो ड्रग को छोड़ रहा है और उसकी वजह से भी उसको डिलीरियम जैसी कैफियत में वो आ सकता है और एक्सपोजर टू अ टॉक्सिन टॉक्सिन मीन इफ द पर्सन हैज टेकन ईटन समथिंग व्हिच इज पॉइजनस और इज ड्यू टू मल्टीपल एथियोलॉजीज सो दिस वाज अबाउट डिलीरियम वी हैव लुक्ड एट द टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूरोकॉग्निटिव डिसऑर्डर्स and also we have taken the seen the diagnostic criteria of delirium which is actually the the main beginning point for neurocognitive disorders